Hey everyone, welcome to the Goose Pimples Halloween Special. I know this is a little different than usual, but I'm Southern Cannibal, and today I'll be covering today's video. So if you're all ready, let's get started. Number 7. Finders Keepers This scary video filmed on a day meant for family fun playing hide and seek takes a sharp turn into the unnerving when the seeker behind the camera senses something isn't quite right. And trust me, her gut feeling was spot on. You see, losing a loved one can either tear a family apart or pull them closer together. For this family, the passing of their grandmother had brought them tighter than ever before. Every year on the anniversary of her death, they gathered to pay their respects. And even seven years later, nothing had changed. The tradition was still going strong. In the middle of the heartfelt memories and laughter, the kids had the bright idea to kick off a game of hide and seek. Harmless, right? But after just a few moments of searching, the seeker behind the camera started to feel like something was off. And let me tell you, she was right to be freaked out. Because when she turns around, she spots this. Bye, guys. ちょっと待ってよ。今見えたぞ。どこだ。ね。うん。うん。こっち。どこですか。どこかな。あ、ここかな。<笑> Now at first, it looks like just one of the younger siblings darting out of sight. But wait, where the hell did they go? And why weren't there any footsteps? She followed the figure through the narrow alleyways, but still couldn't find her siblings anywhere. Until this happened. was one of the hiders, the seeker swung the door open, ready for that sweet gotcha moment. there was no one inside. No way someone could have peeked out, hidden in the room, and vanished before the door even swung open. The space was way too enclosed for anyone to pull that off. And to top it all off, just as she's pacing this bizarre moment together, the kids come running from the opposite direction. They were all hiding together, planning to jump out and ambush her. But who or what the hell did we just see behind that door? The figure was small, ghostly pale, with a mop of deep black hair. 
just like all the other kids. But here's the kicker. She's convinced she saw her grandmother's twin, who died when they were just seven years old. Creepy, right? But how could it be? Let us know your thoughts. Hey, what do you think of the new design? Dark, isn't it? Well, you better hurry up because the Halloween edition ends on the 7th of November. And once it's gone, it's gone forever. Number 6. Hanging Around While trying to film the city just after sunset, this tourist noticed something strange out of the corner of his eye. Now at first, he brushed it off and got back to his recording, but the urge to glance at the nearby bridge just wouldn't go away. And when he finally gave in, his blood ran cold with what he spotted there. It seems like an animal crawling along until you notice its eerie similarity to the rake. No fur or hair whatsoever, humanoid-like and butt naked. The way this figure moves, it's not human. It almost bleeds into each new position instead of shifting naturally as it crawls along. What in the hell is this figure? Some kind of cryptid? Or maybe something a bit more explainable? Number 5. Stigmatized Maguro, the guy who recorded this creepy video, was living in what's called a stigmatized property. Basically, it's a place no one wants to rent or buy, not because it's falling apart, but because of, well, let's just say all the gory reasons you can think of. But Maguro, he couldn't care less about all that spooky talk. Why? Because the place came with one hell of a bonus, a cute cat left behind by the now deceased previous owners.僕が住んでいる家の前の住人が飼っていた猫なのですが、前の住人と連絡が取れないため、木村さんという際にオフしてもらっています。この動画はその木村夫妻の家で撮影しているものです。木村夫妻は両方ともお菓子からの友人です。
あんまりこう猫的にも引っ越しとかは良くないから引っ越しはしたくなかったんやけどなかったんですけどあのちょっとうちの嫁の千秋の調子がどんどん悪くなってきて。Yeah, maybe he was just anxious for her to rest in bed. But why the rush to shove her out of the room like she wasn't supposed to be there at all? Maguro couldn't shake the weird feeling creeping up his spine when he pointed the camera toward her. It was like something was off, so he dropped the camera back onto the table. Turns out the strange occurrences weren't caused by the cat from Maguro's old property after all. So, what else could it be? Well, it seems like all signs point to Chiaki herself. <laughs> なんか体調が悪いっていうかなんか取り憑かれてるみたいな感じになっちゃっててなんか最近のその何霊能力者とかの人たちのなんか寄り合いみたいなのなんかすげえ参加してるらしくてなんかすごいまあそういうのもあって
Remember when Chiyuki's husband mentioned she was possessed? Well, it's looking like a classic case of Pot calling the kettle black, because what the hell was he doing in this clip? According to Chiyuki, living with him became terrifying. Her constant sickness, she says, was due to his violent outbursts. But here's the twist. Ever since the move, the pair and their cats have been doing just fine. Chiyuki and her husband have both recovered in their new home, because whatever was gripping onto their lives is still lingering outside that very door. Hey everyone, just taking a quick pause here. Once again, my name is Southern Cannibal. I narrate true scary stories here on YouTube, so if you like my narration and style, maybe consider checking out my channel. Alright, number 4. Peekaboo While eagerly awaiting the next batch of holiday pics from their friend's trip to Chile, this person was really hoping to soak in the vibe of the crisp clean air through the screen, but as they scrolled through the stunning landscapes and smiling faces, they suddenly stopped dead in their tracks and started shivering. Why? Because one of those photos had them reaching for spare pants instead of their suitcase. If you can't see it, don't worry. It's pretty hard to spot, so we'll guide you to it. Trail your eyes to the left side of the photo, and then down in between the heads of the two women. Now let's give it a little zoom and, yup, there you go. Nightmare Fuel Some commenters are convinced that the creepy face in the photo isn't just an illusion. It looks way too detailed for that. Some say it's gotta be a ghost, or maybe even something more sinister like a demon. Sure. There's skeptics out here saying it's just pareidolia, but let's be real here. When something looks this freaky, I think it's hard to chalk it up to just a camera trick, don't you think? The creepy thing? The family didn't even notice it until later. Whether it's just an optical illusion or a real spirit caught on camera, the fact is no one there had a clue who that person could even be. Number 3. The Cecil Hotel if you've spent any time freaking yourself out online, you've probably heard of the Cecil Hotel, and with good reason. It's one of the most haunted spots in the world. Opened in 1927 in downtown LA, it was supposed to be luxurious, but after the Great Depression, things took a nosedive. Instead of high-class guests, it became home to folks from Skid Row and anyone else down on their luck. Those 700 rooms? They've seen some serious tragedy. Even Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, called it home for a little bit. But the real case that put this place on the map? Elisa Lamb. Elisa, a Canadian student, stayed there in 2013, and things got super weird. CCTV footage shows her in the elevator pressing every button, stepping in and out like she's hiding from someone. Or something. 19 days later, they found her body in the rooftop water tank. Guess had been drinking that same water. Pretty gross, right? Her death? Ruled an accident due to bipolar disorder and missed meds. But for a lot of people, it's really hard to shake the Cecil's dark history. And when a TikTok surfaced in 2021 showing someone's uncle working there, those old fears fired up again. My uncle is currently working at the Cecil Hotel, and this is what he sent me. Some commenters chalk this up to automatic doors doing their thing. But come on, with the hotel's dark backstory full of tragedy and despair, can we really just shrug it off? Is it really that far-fetched to believe that something else might be lurking in the halls, just waiting to make itself known? Number 2. Birdsong while chilling on her patio, Kate heard a strange bird song coming from somewhere nearby. Thinking she might be in the presence of some rare bird, she grabbed her phone to record it. But as she filmed, a weird feeling crept over her. 
The chirping started to sound off, almost like it wasn't coming from a real bird at all. That's when her gut told her to look towards her neighbor's abandoned home, and what she saw next made her blood run cold. Look closely at the window. There's a faint outline of a gaunt haunting face pressed against the glass. Pretty creepy, right? Well, Kate thought so too. She even took to Reddit to explain how she got this deep, gut-wrenching feeling like she was staring at something that she was never ever meant to see. But the Redditors had a different theory. They chalked it up to pareidolia. A psychological trick where your brain sees familiar shapes and random patterns. They suggested that it could have just been the curtains messing with her mind. But here's the thing, if it really was just a trick of the mind, why did Kate feel that cold, unnerving sensation? Something tells us this wasn't just curtains playing games. Number 1. Side by Side This guy thought he was in for an easy night, just keeping an eye on the CCTV at San Roque Cemetery. But after just a few brief minutes of chilling, something caught his eye that sent chills down his spine. Let's take a watch. It could just be a camera glitch. But why does only one figure look ghostly while the other two appear perfectly normal under the same lighting? Maybe it really is a technical issue. Or maybe, just maybe. It's one of the cemetery's long-lost souls wandering in front of the camera. 